What's your name again? Chrissy. Where are we going? Swimming. I started doing stunt work, and I specialized in water, so a lot of times when the water stunts would come up, I got into doing the water stunts also. Steven Spielberg was a little bit leery having me because I wasn't an actress per se. After the first day of shooting, we did the beach scene the first day, the uh, party scene at night, and we got along wonderful after that. So whatever I did, he liked, and it was great. He was a great person to work for. I thought that what could really be scary was not seeing the shark and just seeing the water because we all are familiar with the water. Very few of us have been in the water with a shark. But we've all gone swimming. And the idea of this girl going swimming and the audience going swimming with her would have been too extraordinary if, like a leviathan, the shark had come out of the water with its jaws agape and come down on her. And it would have been a spectacular opening for the film, but there would have been nothing primal about it. It would just have been a, a monster moment that we've all seen. And I really wanted to do it without seeing the shark in that, in that case. And I wanted the violent jerking motions to just start to trigger our imaginations into either thinking about what's happening below the surface of the water line or blocking what was happening below the surface. <laughs> the first jerk down Stephen did he uh, had a cable that came to the front of my stomach and went to a anchor that was laying on the bottom of the ocean and then he just sat and when he wanted that pull he just would pull and I could feel him pulling down and I just throw my head back even more <laughs> they wanted to put me on an electric winch and I did not I prefer not to use an electric winch because if any of the line overrode and came to a stop I might not know it and I might not be able to get out of it and being there pulling me back and forth in the water I wanted to have more control so we used manpower. They put cut off Levi's on and had cables running from me out to the side to two pilings and then all the way into the beach and what they would do is we put marks on the beach and the guys we'd have five or six guys on each line and they would run back and forth from mark to mark so I didn't have the hard work to do. I just kind of sat there and got pulled around. The guys were running back and forth on the beach. And that's what made the, the, my body move back and forth in the frame. And then when I would feel my hips getting pulled the opposite way, I'd just throw my arms out of water very violently the opposite way. So physically, I could make it look more violent than what it was. <laughs> I went to a marine store and bought a, uh, like a safety hook that you'd use on a sail, on, on the halyard of a sail. And I put it onto all the cables that they hooked to me. So that at any time during the scene, if I got in trouble, if I got water, if I got hurt, God knows what happened, I could pull one of those strings and I was free and clear and could come to the surface. So what it was, was it allowed me, if I got in the spot, to free myself. Because how would anybody know? If I was hurt or I needed anything, I'm out there screaming like a fool. We um, looped the film. Of course, a lot of the stuff we couldn't do because of the noise made, so you go into a looping, a looping uh, studio. And the idea was, how are you going to sound like you're in the water sitting in a studio? So they, we came up with the idea of getting a baby bassinet and filling it with water. So I'm sitting on the sound stage, you know, with the film up on the screen, on a stool with my little bassinet, and uh, Richard Dreyfus came in. Well, I came to visit Stephen, or I came to do my own looping. I'm not really sure now. It was so long ago. And uh, I walked in, and uh, Stephen had this beautiful girl's blonde head reared back like this, and he was pouring water down her throat like this. I'm telling her to scream her bloody lungs out, <laughs> which I, I thought was a rather interesting way to spend the afternoon, but not, not particularly comfortable for her. But it does work for the movie. I mean, they, the reason they were doing it was to make that the appropriate sound, and they couldn't do it any other way. So he just poured that water down her throat. <laughs>